Crossville mom is turning her newly found love for an ancient art into a growing side business. And tonight she has a message for other moms looking for a creative outlet. Kayla Strayer has a story in this week's Made in Our Hometown. How are you? Mary Kate Vanderhart is a stay at home mom to three year old Persis and 18 month old Holland. I, I think I need to drill a hole. Drill a hole. When her first daughter was born, she didn't take too much time for herself. And even when she did, I felt guilty every time and I ended up burning out really quickly. When Holland came along, Mary Kate realized she needed some me time. It is exhausting. It's a full time job. And just like any job, you need time off. A year ago, she found the outlet she was looking for. It's called macrame. There are so many things you can make with it. Macrame is a fiber art. Mary Kate cuts strings of cotton and ties it into different types of knots depending on what look she's going for. We've got the macrame up here. These are square knots. And then I've got some weaving in here with the wool roving. She first got into macrame when she was looking for a certain kind of plant hanger and decided she'd make her own. I just did YouTube videos and pictures and I ordered a book and just taught myself. Now Mary Kate makes purses, keychains, earrings, window hangers, table runners, plant hangers and wall art. The funny thing about macrame is it looks more complicated than it really is. She has an in-home studio where she works while her daughters rest. Each item can take several hours or more to finish, but it's a process she enjoys. It's just kind of a nice way to work with my hands and kind of get the stress out and enjoy something. It started as a hobby and turned into a business called Mother May I. She uses Etsy and Instagram to sell her products. It's gotten a lot bigger than I thought it would be um, and that's really exciting. With macrame, this young mom is able to express her creativity while working out the stress of everyday life. I would definitely encourage all moms, young or old, to spend time for themselves and you know find something that helps you you know, be a better person, be a better mom. Mary Kate offers some of her products available for sale here at Scott and Haven in St. Elmo. We'll also have more information about her business on our website, newschannel9.com. Reporting for Made in Our Hometown, I'm Kayla Strayer. Mary Kate also teaches group classes that last about two hours. If you have an idea for our Made in Our Hometown series, send us a message on our Facebook page. From the wrestling ring to the world of politics, one of